Um, yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night. It was pitch black, and the only thing I could move was my eyes. The only thing I could... And I was, unfortunately, in the fetal position, staring at a wall, so I couldn't see anything. But I just felt like there was a presence in my room um, that was very close to me, and it was, like, intruding. It was. I didn't feel like the old hag was kind of, like, on my chest, but I just felt like someone was very much behind me. And I just, I just wanted to scream. So I've been working on a various narrative ideas. Uh, I was going to originally do a graphic novel, but now it's just sort of non-linear. Um, sometimes when I get hungry, I don't have any food, and I just draw food and put it in the oven. And, uh, no, but seriously, I've just been um, applying sort of different kinds of thinner to paper. I'm using oil at the moment, um, and it looks pretty nice in a way because some parts of the paper are see-through, some aren't, which is kind of boring, but when you put it on a light box, it makes nice little effects. Oh, look at this. Oh. Um, I'm wondering if I can use my interest in photography to create some kind of graphic novel or even large pieces that can depict this very loose narrative that's almost leaves the viewer to decide what's happening. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a comic for my final project and it's called Oi and it's set in Ireland, like ancient Ireland, and it's about a bard. And I want to do a comic about a bard, just because in fantasy and stuff, bards are always, like Dungeons and Dragons, bards are always the class people laugh at. Like, no one wants to be the instrument guy when you could be the cool sword guy or the magic guy. And then, I said it in ancient Ireland, because, well, for one thing, I always liked Irish music, and also because I was a society that was run by artists. Because the druids and the poets there had enough power, if their poem was, like, good enough, to displace kings and stuff. So, I thought that was pretty cool. So, I started researching this by reading a bunch of books set about the time period. For example, one is called How the Irish Saved History. And also, a pretty good book called The Last of the Druids about their art and <laughs> it's also about druids who are the coolest people ever and I also emailed this guy who recreates ancient Irish instruments and ancient Irish music to learn more what music of 300 AD Ireland sounds like and what kind of instruments they play and I've also been researching like ancient Irish poetry and stuff and the epic stories like Cúchelin and reading those just so, well, I, like the story's kind of down to earth, but I want it to have kind of that vibe. And yeah, what have I been doing? I draw the pages by ink. I take about an hour laying them all out and I write the dialogue and then I ink it with a brush and I scan it in on Photoshop and change the lines and color it. And I have a lot of the story planned, but I could probably only get out like maybe 24 pages before the deadline. And then I'm going to try to publish it into a book and sell it at comic conventions. And that's it. Yes? Hi, I'm Casper. I uh, 
recently started experimenting a lot more and uh, here I am getting some reference for what a bat looks like when it's on fire. I like games, tabletop war games especially. I also have a keen interest in fantasy worlds. Growing up I've made games, my own games and universes a lot of times and now I'm doing it again and it's really fun and I think it plays well and looks awesome. I really enjoyed the 1000 Drawings project, uh, going to the Natural History Museum and drawing quickly. I decided to do this again as a research method and then use these drawings to inform concept art of the characters in the game. I am currently vectorizing the 40 characters so they can be laser etched onto wooden game tokens and also used inside small publications that accompany the playing pieces. Hi, my name is Nastasia Ivanova. My final project is about illustrating English known proverbs. I'm working on the imaginary sequences, storytelling, common English sayings in its own literal meaning at first, but along with the subliminal surrealistic manner. I'd love to see how my illustrations would describe the message to the audience. My aim is to produce artwork based on the English traditions so people can either recognize it or learn more about it. The work process will include research uh, and uh, proverb uh, illustrations such as the famous uh, Brujo uh, painting. I will use live drawings on people so they can uh, fully describe the proverb within the action. Also fashion magazine uh, photos will be referenced uh, to dress up characters to make them more interesting and uh, interactive to look at. This century has witnessed the largest human migration from countryside to the cities in history, resulting in development of megacities like Tokyo, Jakarta, New York and Mexico City. This non-stopping migration and lack of space forces urban planners to grow cities vertically with skyscrapers springing up like mushrooms. To meet these relatively new conditions, futuristic architects already designed self-contained cities enclosed in gigantic towers, for example Eugene Tsui's Ultima Tower. One cannot help but notice the resemblance of this visionary concept to the biblical legend of the Tower of Babel. For the personal project I will produce a single but large illustration depicting an imaginary city together with its inhabitants. This self-sufficient city will be built vertically, similarly to the futuristic Ultima Tower.
My idea for my personal project is a series of illustrations oscillating around the subject matter of fetishism, concentrating on desires and needs without focusing on the only sexual images. The artwork will be influenced in style of Japanese art and optical illusion. Japanese paintings come in a variety of formats, including large screens, hanging scrolls, bound books, and albums. The illustrated hand scrolls has traditionally been a format that is particularly suited for narrative painting. Like a book, a hand scroll is an intimate object that is held in the hands and is ideally viewed by only a few people at a time. The technique I would like to concentrate is using the woodcut as an inspiration of all Japanese illustrations. I will aim to produce three to four printed illustrations in form of scroll, trying to pursue the funny side of the subject matter and delicate approach to making images, as it is in Japanese woodcuts and prints. The other outcome might be a small book composed of produced images named Sexual Desires. Okay, for my illustration project, I'm combining with animation to create an Alice in Wonderland type story. Uh, it will be my own modern interpretation. Uh, I'm influenced by quite a lot of these same tales through various different media, comic book, film, TV, and I want to just make my own spin on it. For illustration, I will be designing the backgrounds and map paintings, which is what I'm really interested in and what I want to get into. Uh, I start off with traditional pencil on paper, as you can see, which I can work painstakingly on all day. And then I'll scan those images in into Photoshop and work on them digitally, as you will see. Um, there we go. I like to create the feel of light um, and using different warmth and cold colors. After the Photoshop job is done, I will be sticking them in After Effects to create a semi-3D space in which I can pan the camera around, as you can see, which will help with the animation. I've been taking my own reference photographs, so I'm not working wholly from my imagination, and hopefully that will give a sense of realism inside this cartoon world. Here's an example of some of the backgrounds that I have finished. Hi, I'm Sam. The basic aim of my project is to produce a booklet of poems based on events in my life that have shaped the person I am, my likes and dislikes, topics that interest me and topics that I find comical. To produce a booklet, I will, I will begin by drawing and recording down as many ideas as possible so that I will be able to write my poems based around the images I've produced. The reason why I chose to illustrate and write my own poems is because I've always enjoyed reading poems from literature at secondary school and I've been listening to a lot of 90s hip hop and, I, and when I hear MCs rhyming I picture their lyrics as images in my head. I've been listening to a lot of Black Star, Slip Rick, Q-Tip, Lee Majors and Mr Man from the Bush Babies, Lord Finesse, Grand Pupa,
For my personal project, I plan to make a graphic novel. A graphic novel based around a metro. Each week I'll select an image that pleases me the most. That's the most interesting. I'm Tiffany and my project is called Jellies. This project will be looking at the interpretation of written work into visual media such as film, animation and comics. Jellies is a short story that I wrote a few months ago which I'll be making into a comic along with a cover illustration. As well as storyboarding and panel placement that reflects as source writing. My art is inspired by um, Bridget Riley's op arts, but my own twist of it is going to be in colors, and I will do my own piece of op art without having to copy anybody. And it's based on the personal collection of earrings I have at home that has got some art materials on it, which I will now twist over to make my own design.